Hey guys, what's going on you guys? <laughs> what was that? What's going on, what's up, what it do, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for just tuning in for another video. I have been getting requests, so many requests, top video requests probably, is for you guys to get an update on my weight loss progress, for me to do a what I eat in a day, a little weigh in. So that's what today's video is gonna be. Um, it's gonna be everything regarding fitness and health and weight loss and kind of where I'm at in my personal journey because if you've been on my channel a while, I have basically kept off like 25 to 30 pounds since college, but been pretty stagnant at like where I am right now for a while and sometimes I'll lose like five or ten and then I'll gain it back if I'm not super consistent uh, but you guys know from my last video I'm working with Leah she has been nothing but incredible for me and my journey and I am counting macros um, today in this current state I can tell you that I'm doing really good I am actually going to be staying in the YouTube house in January, which if you follow other fitness YouTubers, you might know about it. Um, it's during the time of the LA Fit Expo. They rent out a huge house and like 20 YouTubers stay there together for a week and we all film videos and it's pretty much all like fitness and like food YouTubers. So it's my first year where I got invited and I'm super excited. My friends Morgan and Sammy are also going to be there. So we're all going to do it together. Um, so that's coming up and I have a few other exciting things coming up and I'm feeling like I'm in a very motivated and determined point which I feel really great in and I'm gonna eat nothing but incredible today um it is already the afternoon because I am doing intermittent fasting and I'm not eating till like one or two in the afternoon so right now is a perfect time to start the video I also wanted to pop in a little clip last night me and Christian made holiday cookies um we were at the store and he just wanted to buy some cookies it was super cute and I don't have any other that's all I recorded last night was that little clip of us making cookies. So it's not it's not enough for like its own video, but I still wanted to show you guys the footage. So I want to shoot into that really quickly because it was just adorable. We just made like, you know, Christmas cookies together last night and then we'll jump right here back into today's video. Are they ready? Yeah, I'm the chef. You're, you're the, not. You, you're not the chef. I'm the chef. You're the chef. Oh, hold on, you, chef. No, 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 no. But we don't want to drop them, chef. Okay. Okay. Now open and let mommy help you. It's very I'm, hot. No, no, I'm the chef. You're the chef. Okay. Slow. Great job, baby. Push, push. It's okay. very hot. I got you. All right. So 350 for 14 Here's minutes. Mom. I'm the chef. High five. We did it. All right. Now while the cookies are cooking. Let's come sit on the couch and we're gonna do some reading and some learning time. So pick a book, baby. No, you call me chef. Oh, 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 sorry, I'll call you chef. Um, which book you wanna read tonight? because they look super sugary and like very very sweet but do a taste test for everyone dude how are they good try mmm mm, are they hot I think it's just a vanilla base with like some sprinkles and confetti in there they look good though and I didn't burn them for once what's up though if you follow my snapchat I burn everything <laughs> wife me though are they good dude mm -hmm. you want to tell everyone good night we're gonna continue the vlog tomorrow okay and look what? This is white. Yeah. Good job. We're going to go brush your teeth. You got school in the morning, and Mommy's going to vlog all day tomorrow. So look right here, Papas. Say, night, guys. Night, guys. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. All right, it's now the next day. Like, how cute was that? I just wanted to throw in that little clip. Christian was just, like, purely so excited to be making holiday cookies. I don't know, he asked to get them at the store and then I just thought it'd be the cutest thing ever to film it. But anywho, I'm all like dressed and ready today because I actually filmed another video. So we're gonna start off this video by me shooting into a clip this morning. When I first woke up, I give you a fully honest body update of exactly how I look as of today. This video is like completely live all today. So we're gonna go into my weight and do my little weigh in like body update and then I'll meet you guys here back in the kitchen for my first meal, which I had like an hour ago, but I filmed it. So I'll show you that and we're gonna walk through everything that I eat today. 
All right, you guys, so doing a little live weigh-in this morning. If you are new to the channel, my highest weight was 209. Today I weighed in at 178.1. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I've been eating pretty good, but I can definitely do much, much better, and I have some huge fitness goals for myself in 2018. I would like to get down to about 150 pounds and maintain there. So this was just a quick little clip I took of my current physique as of this morning. So Christian just woke up. He wanted to weigh himself too. He walked down here and saw the scale, and I was like, hop on, dude. All right, your turn, baby. Come on. I just, I can do it. Let's try it again. I want to show everyone. Cool pajama outfit. Let's see here. 42.6 pounds. You're getting so big. This is the only scale that I use for my weight loss journey to track my progress at home. It is the most accurate. I did have to buy a new one when I moved into this place because I lost my other one in the move, but I just went in the garage and dragged out the packaging for you guys so I could show you what features it comes with. If you wanna ask for it for Christmas or get it for a friend who's into fitness and weight loss, it's the only like actual body analyzer that I've ever owned that gives you all this detailed information. Um, and it can be the most accurate you know, scale on the market if you can't get like a bod pod or something. So you actually set it, whether you're active, obviously male, female, everything like that. It tells you your exact weight. Um, it tells you your body fat percentage, your muscle uh, percentage of pounds of body weight that are muscle and your bone density as well. I believe you can set like three or four people. Um, you can set up all their personal statistics in the scale. So if they're staying over at your house or something, they can just set it right here and then weigh themselves and get, you know, the most accurate. Um, I believe this is like $150 scale, to be very honest with you guys. I know I have a coupon. I'll link it down below if you want to grab one during the holiday season. I believe it takes off like 40 to 50%, which is incredible. So I'll put whatever the cheapest price is down there. But this is what I'm going to continue using all throughout 2018 and on my channel here to show you guys my weight loss progress. I I highly highly recommend it if you need one and yeah I'll be sure to put their link down below all right so first meal of the day I actually went and got this veggie salad last night when I went out with my son to the habit grill and I didn't finish it all you actually get a ton of salad in there and it's very very low calorie um, so I have a bunch left this is just gonna be shredded carrots tomato cucumber so I'm gonna eat this as my first meal for today but because I don't eat chicken or any uh, like protein source that they offered. What I'm gonna heat up to put on top is just a few of the seven grain crispy tenders. These are vegan, they're from Gardein. I usually get them at Albertsons. If you do count um, calories or macros, there's eight carbs for every two pieces. It's 100 calories with 4.5 fat. So this is just gonna be like my protein source. I think I'm gonna heat up two. Also to give you guys some ideas, I already have fat-free Italian dressing on there, so I don't need to add dressing, but this is usually what I go for. If you want a yogurt-based dressing, that's excellent macros and very low-cal. Uh, the Bolt House Farms is so bomb. The Creamy Caesar is definitely my favorite. I use that all the time. I'm just gonna put one slice of provolone. You can also use vegan cheese, of course, whatever you want. You can pretty much just do any toppings on a salad that you like, and it's super customizable. And then I'm gonna do one serving, which is two tablespoons of these crispy fried onions. I love these. I can usually only find them at the store during like holiday time because I know a lot of people use them for like green bean casserole and stuff for like holiday dishes. So I just pick them up whenever I see them. Uh, but these are only 45 calories for two tablespoons. I'm not too worried about the calories here, but I really like an additional crunch on my salad. So that's gonna be my first meal. It's almost noon. You guys know I do intermittent fasting, so I haven't eaten anything else this morning. So I'm just gonna pop all the toppings on there and have that and log that into my fitness pal for my first meal. All right, and there we have it. A perfect, macro-friendly, very filling, super green. We got some micros in there, vegetarian and vegan salad. So I am pumped to enjoy this for my first meal. It looks amazing. All right, so moving on to meal number two, I attempted to make some at-home green bean fries. They're supposed to be just really crunchy and have some Italian like breadcrumbs and seasoning on there. I'll be very honest with you guys, I kind of failed at these a little, but I figured I would just show you anyways. I picked up the Progresso breadcrumbs garlic and herb flavor just from Albertsons. Then you can actually do this with any vegetable you want. I just chose green beans. I put a little bit of that on a plate and then in the Tupperware there, I just have a little bit of egg mixture to just make the green beans really sticky and have everything adhere really well. So you literally just dip them in the mixture and then in the breadcrumbs and then pop them on a pan. Um, I did already spray the pan so nothing would stick and I already had the oven set at 375 degrees. I think I only had to bake them for like 10 minutes. I just repeated this step until pretty much the whole tray was covered with green beans. 
as you can see there. And yeah, popped them in the microwave, or the microwave, what am I saying? The oven for about 10 minutes. Um, on the side for my protein, I ended up having this Beyond Meat Beyond Burger, plant-based burger patty. This was incredible. If you have not tried these, you must go buy them. They have incredible macros. They're just amazing. They like sizzle up and they cook exactly like a real burger. Like you wouldn't even believe that it's all plant-based protein. They're totally vegan. I'm totally gonna buy these again. They're just awesome. So literally all you do is get your stove on high and cook it for three minutes on each side. It's super easy. So everything did turn out well. I'm not gonna say the green beans were bad, but I could have done a little better on the flavor, I think. I'll have to mess around with it. And then I just put a tiny bit of ketchup over and that was meal two. All right, so moving right along to meal three. This was a few hours later. I think, believe around like 6.30 p.m. I was just having some of the green giant broccoli. I put that in the microwave for about five minutes. That one does come with cheese on it. You don't have to get the one with cheese. Um, I was just heating up some egg whites there. And if you want a vegan topper, try the premium nutritional yeast. I got this from Amazon. It's incredible. And I just made one of those plant-based burgers as well for my protein. We're just doing like a little protein bowl. So I had one full cup of egg whites, a third serving of the broccoli and cheese, which even after having it I kind of wish it didn't even have the cheese uh, but whatever that's what I had in the house and I had one more of those plant-based burger patties which were just honestly so so incredible I can't wait to go and buy more they're so bomb I was putting a little bit of Bolt House Farms yogurt dressing on top and that was my dinner it was incredible it was so 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 filling and I loved it all right, so it's now almost like 8 p.m., so sorry the lighting like went way down. Um, I just wanted to come on and end off the video. So those were all meals that I just absolutely love when I'm sticking 100% strictly to my like weight loss mode and really wanting to make progress. Um, let me know your guys' favorite meals down below that don't include meat or dairy because I am trying to stay as strict as possible. I haven't eaten meat in probably like seven months, but I do have a little bit of dairy here and there, just keeping it real, and I would really like to cut that out. Um, I haven't really found like a vegan cheese or anything that I really love to substitute it with, so if you guys want to leave me some suggestions that would be awesome don't forget i am giving away a uh, i am giving away a camera to you guys that's my like christmas holiday gift for you so check out my last vlog where i um announced that and come on my instagram and repost the picture if you want to win i want to just keep reminding you guys so you all have enough chances to enter and i hope that can be a blessing in your life if you are able to win i would love to have you as a subscriber and give this video a like thank you so much for just taking a moment of your holiday season and of your time and your day to watch I'm very appreciative for that and i love you guys and i appreciate you and i will see you in the next video. Yeah. Mm -hmm.